Welcome back to Modern Homestead Alaska. We are at Three Bears, which is an Alaska grocery store, and these are all over. And I wanted to show you, kind of price compare, what it would cost me to do my weekly stock here, which I do a lot of the time, versus Costco. So we're both gonna check out prices at Three Bears, and then we're gonna go to Costco. The uniqueness of Three Bears is Three Bears are located all across the state. Whereas we only have four Costco's in the entire state of Alaska, which may sound like a lot if you live in a, a very small square mileage state, but it's actually not a lot. Two of those Costco's are in Anchorage. One of them is in Juneau, which would require a flight. And the other one is in Fairbanks, which is about a five, six hour drive from where we live. Costco is still at least an hour drive from me, but on the eating plan that we're on, buying all the fresh produce, the bacons and the different things here is so extremely expensive. So why don't I share with you what you could expect here in Alaska at a local grocery store versus a Costco. Welcome to Modern Homestead Alaska. We are Erin and Jessica Milnes. We are building a modern homestead outside of Wasilla, Alaska with the help of three of our children. Our second son, Caleb, our daughter, Cody Ann, and the youngest of our family, Wyatt, along with our three dogs, Tipper and Daisy, and the newest addition, Roberto. Three bears are an odd-ish grocery store because they are supplied in part by Costco. So we'll just turn down the first aisle and I'll kind of show you that you can get Costco size items here and then also individual items. So here's like a ramen section. We'll just choose a random section. Looks like 12 bowls. These huge packages. But then, so these are the Costco size. No, Costco's a double pack. Then you can get like what you'd get at Walmart or like a five pack. This Primal Kitchen mayonnaise is something that I am gonna pick up here because I've never seen it at Costco. But it's $12.19 for a thing of mayonnaise. So if you recognize Costco, this Homestyle Ranch is in the two pack. It's $16.99 here, but see they still sell individuals for $8.99. These are not full 30 compliant, but we they're as close as we can get here without, I wouldn't even know where to look. Someone told me Target, but I've never grocery shopped at Target. So I'm not sure what like Primal Kitchen or those brands they carry, but the sugar-free um, barbecue sauce is kind of a saving grace on some of the meats, but and they have it on sale this week for $5.69. So I'll pick up one of these for Aaron. Look at the price of this. Okay, so this also is not Whole30 compliant, but it's as close as we can get. And they don't sell this at like what would be essentially Kroger. $8.39 for a ketchup. This is something else I always get for Erin. These, just anything that has been um, pickled or canned peppers or pickles that don't have sugar in them, um, really does kind of take that edge off and help with the different meals. Let me see if there's some pickles for him. So here is a really good example of things you've seen me buy at Costco. Look at the price of white rice, $41.99. Holy care. Cal de Boss Monte. What's the price? Oh, $36.99. Pint of beans, $33. The Cal Rose, $61.99. Holy cow. But if you did have to run in here, you didn't have time to go to Costco and save on the big bulk items, Look at, they still have, for $1.69, black eyed peas, green split peas, the garbanzo beans, lentils, barley, kind of the smaller bags and packages, which is really great being able to do both like a quick, I need to grab something grocery store and then bulk shop if you need it. 
because we're going fishing and taking snacks on the Whole30 is very difficult. I found these. We'll try them. Um, $2.59 for this little bag of pork rinds. And then they have this pink salt and vinegar. But I want to try this one before I pay uh, $8.99 for this. So I'll get the little $2 bag and see if Aaron likes those. But I know spicy works for us. So. So you see the Costco brand? That's the same paper towels that you would get at Costco. But here, they're $34.99 and the toilet paper is $30.99. Because Three Bears is in like remote or like areas that are outside of town. We live in an area outside of town. Towards Willow, there's Three Bears. Um, Big Lake, those are just some areas around us. You'll find these stores across the state. Well, a lot of people have livestock and this is the exact same brand of food that is sold at the feed store. Now, you can save a couple of dollars, but I'm telling you what, the fact that they have all of the chicken and the horse and the hog food here at Three Bears really can save you in a pinch or if you have a very small heard of something, you might grab it here as opposed to paying the gas to go to a further away, uh, like feed store, something like that. I have not seen these in bulk at Costco and Aaron needs these for his chili because believe it or not, his homemade chili is full 30 compliant. So I do need to just get a few cans of Chipotle's at $2.59 a piece. My understanding is most of the meat section at Three Bears is bought locally as opposed to Costco, but of course they are also supplied by Costco. So going with that same theme. My favorite part is I never come in here to empty, um, like to where you couldn't find something if you needed meat that day. So they generally have a very well stocked meat section here at Three Bears. See, this is like the home brand, so you can get these at Costco. These are the same pork bellies that we turn into bacon. Look at the price now, $51.71 for that. Pink crab, $48.99 a pound. Cheese, I think, might have come down in price, but I haven't bought cheese in so long. I wouldn't really know, but like the mild cheddar Kirkland brand, $18.99, $7.49 for that one. Tumbu, Anyway, $12.29, $12.89. Not bad, I don't think. But these pre shredded ones, the Kirkland brand, $18.49 on sale <laughs> if we can get these they're so easy to take with you $21.99 though for these 100% grass fed beef the thing is they don't have any sugar in them so they are you can have these on Whole30 whereas everything else that I read for the most, but there's a couple of them 
like these uncured ones that by boar's head a lot of times they don't have sugar in them but the vast part of anything processed for some reason it all has sugar or corn or a starch or something crazy in it that or msg like you name it but those we can get hopefully we can get them cheaper at costco today that is a for sure item we're gonna look for Wyatt is my cereal boy and I love him. Costco milk, the Kirkland brand, two pack whole milk is eleven nineteen here, but you can also buy it in individuals. Whereas in Costco, you can't buy them as an individual. individual. They always come as a two pack. Finding kind of these whole or, I don't know. I don't know, like a good word to put on it, but look at how tiny these sections are. So here's like different like organic veggie chips or whatever. And then that's it. Bob's Red Mill, some uh, gluten-free pastas, and then these are all the seasoning spices that generally are whole pretty compliant look at the size of that it's almost the same price for that tiny ketchup as the big ketchup now you can kind of understand well pay eight dollars and it not be perfect then pay seven dollars and it'd be this big so this would be a good price compare these, they actually have it at Costco as well. So this comes from Costco and it's $12.99. The little mini peppers, if I buy these a lot for here, $7.49 here. But an individual pepper is between $1.49 and $2.29. The carrots are two for three, that's a good sell. Another good thing is I've been to Costco so many times lately and they have no onions, but anytime I'm at Three Bears, they always have onions. And so we have been able to get them whenever we need. These are the ones you could get at Costco, not the individuals. So at $12.49 or $13.99. So we'll see what Costco has today. And then if they don't, we'll come back to Three Bears and grab onions from here. This is, uh, to give you an idea, this salad mix, the sweet kale salad. It's a two pack, $9.99 here. $8.99 for the romaine hearts. $8.99 for those. I saw both of these last time I was at Costco. Another thing you could expect to find is a full pharmacy in the Three Bears, which is really, really great, especially if you are far from like a Walgreens or something like that. The fact that Three Bears has them is really convenient and all my medications come from here and they've had everything that we have needed. Now, I'm in the section <laughs> that Erin and Caleb or Wyatt hang out in while I do grocery shopping here, which is the hunting and fishing section. Costco clearly doesn't have one of these, so they can't even compare on that. We can come here and get any hunting and fishing things we need, which is also great because they have these all over and being able to maybe get the right lure or something like that if you've traveled is amazing that Three Bears offers that. So that little bitty shopping trip of, you know, basically ketchup, barbecue sauce, um, the chipotle peppers, Aaron's um, canned peppers. I did throw in two of the almond milks, $7.29 for one and $5.39 for the other. Cost me $79.61. So let's go see if we could save going to Costco. Oh my goodness. So everyone is doing what I'm doing. They're going to the car wash with everything melting. It is just a mud show. I am in a different parking lot to get in line for the car wash. 
um, I can't see out of any of my like my backup camera none of that is working look at the line <sighs> it's so long and this whole building is full of cars just pulling out one after the other so we're gonna get a quick car wash in order to see out of all of this mud and then we'll be on our way to Anchorage. Oh my gosh, we're in Costco now. I wanted to tell you the weirdest story um, really quick. So I grabbed some toothpaste and toothbrushes and some floss. But anyway, in YouTube, there is this section and it tells me like content that I haven't created that my viewers watch a lot of. And I need you to know the weirdest thing it has recommended I make a video on, which I will never ever do, is on Costco bathrooms. And so I was so intrigued, like, what the heck are people watching? And it is, it's a whole world of Costco bathrooms. So I will never show you <laughs> a bathroom, I don't think, on my channel ever, but. I just thought that was really funny. What the heck are y'all watching? What are you going online and looking up bathrooms for? Just public restrooms, gross. So anyway, I thought that was funny. Let's price compare now. Have you seen the Miley Cyrus trend? The I can buy myself flowers. None of these things are on the list, but I'm buying, they're so beautiful and $18. Um, Part of why my sister has a Costco account is literally she buys herself flowers. So I think my house needs a little bit of brightening. Um, some spring brought in in the summer with all the colors from Christmas gone. Look, so remember when they discontinued my favorite flower? I have enough to last me quite a while, but Costco did replace it with another organic unbleached flower. 1739 for 210 pounds so 20 pounds of it it's really good if you do sourdough to to feed something a good organic flour at least they have something back well isn't this disappointing i just lost what what is it two dollars by buying this at three bears because i had never seen it at costco it's 9.49 here we've been going through a lot of it so i'm gonna grab one more to get us through with the savings, might as well, since I'm here, um, through the rest of Whole30, and then I'll probably stick to it until I've hit like the doctor's recommended weight loss, and then Aaron and Cody will probably just switch back to the regular mayonnaise that we do have a stockpile of. Let me read these green chilies, $8.89. We have a few of them at home, but they make great like egg topping green chili, peppers, garlic, salt, lime juice. That's it, so for $8.89, I just found coconut aminos. I have not been able to find these. You're not supposed to do soy sauce on it, but um, the coconut aminos for $8.99. Let me read it to make sure that this one, we're getting coconut, nectar, water, and sea salt. Then, check the expiration December 7th of 2024 this is going home with us okay so we've made it to the pinto beans so $20.99 in comparison to three bears these seaweed stacks $8.99 
the kids asked me for these. I don't know, have you ever tried them? I don't know if it's just trendy or what, but let's finish looking at the, compare the price of the rice here versus three bears. So these are the same cheeses that Three Bears had and they're $15.99 here in comparison to what you'd pay. So we're already starting to see kind of a theme that a couple dollars per item. So these exact mild cheddar is $5.99 and $15.69. So if you can save a couple of dollars on every item, is it always worth the hour plus drive and the gas and the fuel? if you know these 9.79 here what were they 12 or 14 or something like that at, i'll remember it when i put the video together but um my point was just a couple dollars on every single item when you're doing like a week bulk grocery shop not just i forgot one item i'm gonna drive an hour to costco for it so Contrary to popular belief, our Costco has eggs. $18.79 for this five dozen limit two. And then these other ones for $8.79. I'm getting 16 plus a day, so we will not be buying eggs. I don't do a lot of juices. And then of course there's a lot that I can't have, but look, this Costco pomegranate juice is $7.39 and it's nothing but pomegranate juice from concentrate and you can definitely have juice as sweeteners on full 30. I'm gonna get two of these this time. $15.99. The zero sugar bacon is $24. I forgot to get that on camera. So I'm saving just almost nine dollars, eight dollars um, buying it here at Costco. Is it our healthiest option? No. Is it delicious? Yes. And it makes a lot of meals a lot more tasty. I am gonna grab some milk for Wyatt so he can have some cereal this week and get him some cereal. 10.39 here, but like I said, you have to buy the two pack of milk at Costco. You can't buy an individual single pack. They have such a limited supply of cereal today, which is odd. So we'll just go cinnamon toast crunch, $7.49. Okay, so that's 10 minutes of my life, I won't get back. So I started looking at these almond milks because I'm paying like $7 a piece. These are shelf stable. The expiration though is this year. So December here for the vanilla and November on the Kirkland brand. But for $15.99, this is a 12 count. <laughs> and then the vanilla one is a six count for $10.49. It's gonna save me a ton of money. Everyone besides me will go right back to regular milk, but these are good to keep on hand in the event you do run out of milk. You have something you can throw in really quick. Um, so I will go ahead and grab those. Okay, so at Costco, the toilet paper is $25.99 and the paper towels are $27.79. So, catching a theme here, right? Okay, so this definitely huge savings. $16.99 for these. So one of the meals I was gonna make this week was a like a stuffed pepper cheese steak but without cheese and the meat for it like one meal for our family for the meat alone would be $31 and I can't I can't do it so we'll have to just figure out maybe we're just having fish or something else but yeah meat prices are about to kill us okay so so much cheaper $9.99 versus whatever it was at Three Bears. And then the avocados are $6.99 here. So we'll get two bags of those. Some peppers. I buy some tomatoes. Let's see what else we have. 
I have never seen these before. Look at them. So $6.99. These are like bell peppers, but long. Aren't they beautiful? These are going home with us. And then I'll just skip out on the mini bells because these are four or three forty nine. Okay, three point four nine five. So six ninety nine for two pounds. One and a half pounds is seven ninety nine of the mini peppers. So we'll get these big ones. Two pounds, eight ninety nine. So I am gonna tell you I got these last week because they were the cheapest per pound, and I ended up having to throw away about half of each tomato. Was just no good. It's a really long ship here. I'm gonna see what price the other cherry tomatoes are, but Aaron just eats them like crazy, so it's worth paying the $8.99. $7.99 for the all red ones. Okay. Um, Pears are six forty nine. Uh, cantaloupe exactly two for eight ninety nine. I know. <laughs> you wanna? <laughs> so eight ninety nine for the cantaloupe. They were good last week, and then I got pears. It'll be a few days before they're ripe enough for Aaron. And then the watermelons were great. I don't know. We just crave kind of that fresh fruit this time of year. Pretty crazy. Ten ninety nine for two but they have onions. I did look at my Azure order in the parking lot. I did order onions from Azure, so I'm just gonna grab one. $9.49 for the yellow and $10.99 for the red. We'll go yellow because I have some red left over from Azure at the house. I am gonna get three of the pigment apples at $4.49 and partly because we love them, but the other thing is like dinner tonight is a Hawaiian chicken that has like the peppers and a fresh pineapple and some chicken with some barbecue sauce. So should be pretty yummy. So I need several pineapples. Bananas, $2.99 a pound still. Rainbow, when eating lots and lots of fresh produce is key. So when they have rainbow carrots, $6.99, not bad. We'll grab them. Oh, 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 we're right here, right, right here, so don't turn off. So here is those salads. So $4.99 for the two-pack versus the grocery store. We have the creamy Italian, the green goddess, Mediterranean chop, sweet kale, and $5.49, $4.25, $8.99, sheesh, and $4.99. So, whatever. These organic power greens, the $5.99, these are the ones I put in the smoothie and then eat that as opposed to like a plain lettuce. And then I'll show you the price here compared to three bears on the romaine. Okay, so these are the two romaines that are at three bears as well. So $5.49 for the big ones and then the little ones are $5.99 at Costco in comparison. We're gonna do sugar snap peas for Aaron. And so $6.49 and then I have not seen fresh asparagus since last year, so $7.49. Okay, we are almost done. Do you remember back I was doing a kitchen organizing video and I started making a list of some of the things we're out of and we'll see if they have any of that here. One of you asked me if there's a shortage on cat food. I don't know the answer to how much cat food there normally is, but there's this red kind and the bluish green kind and maybe this orange. And the whole other side of the aisle is dog food. And then this whole other side is bones and treats and vitamins or what have you. So yeah, maybe, I don't know. I wouldn't have known that because we don't have a cat, but you asked and so. And then these, where I give the dogs when I have to leave them. Um, so my old dogs don't choke on like a raw hide. So $16.99, ridiculous. 
how many of you just saw me give these away. What's the price? $19.99. Now, mine had been used and a few were cracked and they weren't great, but that is what I was talking about when I was sharing on a video about giving stuff away that like all this fresh produce would you see that and you think, oh, it would go in here, but I'm not that person. I'm just not her. And so I gave away a $20 canister set knowing in my head, I just won't and don't use them. Okay, so here's the list back that I didn't get. So dark chocolate chunks, couldn't get those here even if I wanted to. The almonds, pecans, white chips, butterscotch chips, dry fruit. I ordered a bunch of dry fruit from Azure. Just random nuts. Pasta, tea, and floss. I got floss today. SOS pads and sponges, a drawer liner. Let's see if they have maybe some good dry fruit. Is really good and easy for Aaron and I to take as well as some nuts. One of you sent me the most beautiful pecans which is my favorite nut of all time. Oh my gosh. So they're not even gonna make, be made into <laughs> recipes. They are snacks. I'm not going to uh, waste the amazing quality of them on um, just throwing them in like a baked something or another. Oh, so good. 9.99 for the almonds. Aaron takes that bag to work with him. These will keep it. So the dried apricots are 11.29. They don't have any added sugar, but like the cherries and the blueberries and stuff do. So we'll just skip those for now and wait till our Azure order comes in. Okay, question. What did this entire coat part of fruits and vegetables and nuts? I did throw in some things I didn't show you. Um, I needed batteries. All of our uh, smoke detectors are beeping. So I need to replace all those batteries. That's $10, so on and so forth. Okay, I'll show you in the truck. Well, I got everything for at least the next week of meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, plus all of the food preps we have at home. A couple of things that weren't on the list, obviously the flowers, those are $18. I did get another glass container set of the Pyrex dishes for 25, 24, let me see, what were those? 20. $4.99. I like the glass ones. Um, and we are cleaning out that cabinet and really could use some more with the food prep. And then tons of just healthy stuff like two packs of ground beef, 33.48 and 33.68. Uh, those were kind of expensive. And then, um, even the hot dogs at $16.99 to have like kind of a convenience item is pretty pricey. And then I didn't plan on buying like the, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, okay, so the floss, the toothpaste, toothbrushes, which I like to switch them out ridiculously often. Um, so my whole budget was blown between the two shopping trips. We spent another $543 at Costco today. The question of this video though, is it worth the drive? Yes, it is worth the drive. No, if I just needed an onion or a head of lettuce or something like that, of course, go to the local grocery store. Costco doesn't sell everything, so we do have to utilize local grocery stores as well for some of those smaller ingredients. And all in all though, but in reality here in Alaska, a lot of people would have to literally fly to go to a Costco. So the question then becomes, it's not worth it for everyone. But if you're within an hour, hour and a half, something like that of a Costco, does it save you money eating like this? It definitely saves you money. But if you could grow and produce 
freeze and can all of your own food, of course, that would be the way to go. But all in all, it's worth the trip to Costco if you need all of this for one week. Thank you everyone that stuck around all the way to the end. You are greatly appreciated. If you're new around here and you'd like to see more of what we have going on on our modern homestead and the things that we do around here, hit that subscribe button. When you ring the bell, you get notifications, but if you give us just comments and thumbs up, those things definitely help our channel to grow. Were you blown away at all today by what the local prices are versus Costco? I know some of you gasp at the prices we pay for produce even at Costco in comparison to where you are. Tell me about that. I want to hear about it in the comment section. My gratitude for the day is I actually feel so, so very good. With everything that has been going on, being on Whole30, it really has increased my energy. I feel like my breathing is better. A lot of the different things, and I'm happy to say it's been over a week since I've had a headache. So that is really, really another great thing to be super grateful for right now. So with all of that, what is your gratitude for the day? Let me know, and I hope you're blessed. Until the next time, I will see you soon in the very next video. Bye, guys.